talk about this morning in health news. A new study showing that the Mediterranean diet is associated with a 65% reduction in breast cancer risk. Joining me right now are one of our favorites, WNC and health expert, Dr. Kevin Campbell. Good to see you, Doc. Good to see you. Okay, so first let's talk about the prevalence of breast cancer. We know October, right around the corner, is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, so let's talk about that. We know breast cancer is one of the leading causes of cancers in women. Do you know that one in eight women will develop breast cancer in their lifetime? It's critical that we, you know, prevent what we can prevent right. and then detect early what we can detect so that we can treat them and have them cured. Yeah, do whatever it takes to prevent getting breast cancer in the first place. Exactly. So let's talk about this Mediterranean diet. What is it? So the Mediterranean diet is a wonderful diet that includes lots of fishes, mm -hmm. lots of fruit, vegetables, okay. and it really concentrates around having olive oil and nuts and even yeah. red wine once a, you know one glass a, uh, in an evening the red wine the olive oil the fish vegetables we can get with that exactly. so talk to us about how this diet helps lower cancer risk according to the study mm -hmm. so in this study we saw that women who were assigned to a group that ate a Mediterranean diet with large amounts of olive oil okay. had a 65 to 68 percent reduction in breast cancer risk. We think a lot of this may have to do with the anti-inflammatory mm. parts of the Mediterranean diet. Okay. We know that inflammation causes or is contributing to development of heart disease as well as types of cancers and by having this diet rich in all these anti-inflammatory right. compounds like the fish we can reduce our incidence of breast cancer. Okay now I gotta tell you I love meat, I love steak, I love chicken. Are those things bad for us? Are we just supposed to minimize that in our diet? You know, you, you hit you hit the nail on the head. It's all about moderation. Okay. I think having an occasional meat-based protein is okay, but in this diet, we really want to emphasize lots of fish. You know, really, you know, nice fatty fishes that 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 can be prepared on easily yeah. at home on the grill or in the stove, but they taste good as well. Yeah. The interesting thing about this study is that for every five percent of calories that you increase mm -hmm. your intake of olive oil, okay. you reduce breast cancer by twenty-eight percent. So olive oil has a real critical component to this study. Doc, and it's not just breast cancer that we're talking about. It's also heart disease and stroke, right? Exactly. We started getting high on the Mediterranean diet about five, six years ago when we realized that it had significant reduction in heart disease. And now we see that it is also associated, not cause and effect, but associated with a decreased risk for cancer as well. Well, this is great information for everybody listening this morning. We certainly appreciate you bringing us those details. Thanks so much for having All me. All right. If you'd like to reach out to the good doctor, you can go on online to WNCN.com. We've got all his information, including his Twitter and his Facebook feed, so you can sign up for all of that because he's got lots of great information he shares on those websites as well. Thanks, Doctor. Thank you. All right, we're going to